The biggest challenge for trainers is, without a shadow of a doubt, comparing themselves to one, the best in the world, and two, everybody else around them. Uh, you know, it's very easy to just hop on to social media and look at somebody that's doing incredibly well, well perceived well, and think that you're missing something. And it's very easy to overlook the context or the experience somebody else has had. They've maybe been in the industry four or five or 10 years. They've maybe lived in a community that's got a, a higher level of population that needs a specific service, or they, they don't uh, you know, uh, understand that somebody's maybe had mentoring or fast track experience and knowledge given to them um, to grow their business. And it's, it's so easy to get caught up in thinking about what other people think about you and nobody wants to be perceived as a failure, nobody wants to be perceived as unpopular, nobody wants to be perceived as not successful. And it's trying to get that out of the heads of people that are trying to grow fitness businesses because that's what is occupying most of their brain space rather than thinking I'm starting from scratch or I'm starting from a, a fairly humble beginning and I understand that I'm not going to be as popular or wealthy or successful as I want to be but if I commit myself to the steps of adding value, making sure that I'm attracting the right kind of people, I've got the right systems in place and taking them on board and serving them and then retaining them and asking for referrals, that is the way to do it. And people don't have all that organizational structure in their head. They're just thinking about, I wanna be popular, I wanna be famous, and that's it. And the reality is most people, when they build that fame, they don't even have the systems or the products to be able to handle the inflow. So I always have this golden rule that I always work with. Everybody's worried about the next thousand followers that they can get, but they don't have 100 clients paying them even 100 pounds an hour, you know, uh, 100 pounds a month so if you can understand that why would you focus your efforts on attracting a thousand people when you can't even get a hundred of them to pay you 100 pounds a month and 100 pounds a month isn't a lot of money what a hundred times a hundred is a lot of money whenever you look at it like that so I always say to them stop focusing on just being popular and start focusing on your business create the products create the systems because you can only grow as well as your systems are developed. So your systems for onboarding, your systems for retention, your systems for referrals. I mean, you know, everybody's working so hard to get the next clients through paid marketing. Uh, you know, what about your current clients? What about serving them really well and getting them to talk about you at the dinner table or the next time they're at the bar or socializing uh, to bring more attention back onto you? What about producing consistent social media content that's really, really certain and in line with the customer's values so that whenever they land on your page, that they know exactly what they're going to get.